Sharks. My name is Dave Vassen. I'm the founder and CEO of Brightwheel, and I'm here seeking a $400,000 investment for a 4% equity stake in my company. Uh, Brightwheel is the mobile app for preschools, daycares, and families. And we are completely revolutionizing early education. Now, I believe all of us are parents here, and I want to ask, when you come home after a long day and you ask your kids, what did you learn in school today? Does this sound familiar? You did everything I did. I want to tell you. <laughs> you want to tell me? I don't know. <laughs> All right, this is the experience for millions of parents across America every single day, and especially for younger kids. You've been apart from your little human being for six, eight, ten hours a day, and that is all you get. You know, you want to be a part of their day. You want to add to their learning once you come home, and you can't. And it's gut-wrenching. And on the other side, on the school side, it's no better. In addition to actually educating our kids, teachers are managing a ton of paperwork. Let's face it, they're actually managing parents. And on top of that, they're even running a business. The system is broken, and Brightwheel is the solution. So let's jump in and take a look at how Brightwheel works. So with Brightwheel, teachers can easily check kids in from the mobile app. They can log activities and assessments during the day. They can send quick updates. And they can even manage their business all in one place. And we're just seeing an amazing amount of photos every single day on Brightwheel. And this is the reason. You take it, you tag it, and you are absolutely done. And now we're going to look at the teacher app. So this is the teacher's room, and we're going to click on activities at the bottom here. And this is all being done on paper today. And so we've taken it and combined it and made it super fast and super easy. And so we're going to click on nap here. And then we're going to tag three kids that just went down for a nap. And the key about Brightwheel is that we're saving teachers time. You actually have measurably more time with kids every single day. And now we're going to flip over real quick to the parent experience. So let's jump to the mobile app. This is actually my little girl, Serena, and this is her day. And as you can see, I get a sense of not only what she's doing, but what she's learning. And so when I come home, I can actually have a conversation with her about it. My connection with my little girl is so much deeper because of Right Wheel. And by the way, in the middle of a pretty tough day, it doesn't hurt to get a photo like this. Sharks, this is a unique opportunity to build a massive business that has a massive impact on people's everyday lives. And that's something that we hear every day. So I hope you're joining Serena and our team in bringing Bright Wheel to every preschool, every daycare, and every family across the globe. Are you selling me this platform, this dashboard? Is that what's happening? Yes. How much am I paying for it? Right now, you're paying nothing. Bright Wheel's, Bright Wheel's free today. Uh, when we have a, our premium product, you will be paying a monthly fee for that. The parent will pay or I'll pay? You will pay as the administrator or the owner. And will the parent ever pay anything? Not today. We're building a platform. We see a lot of opportunity to add value to parents down the road. Except you can't advertise on that platform. Correct. And we have no intention to advertise. Wait, you can advertise to the parents all you want. We don't want to. We think there's a ton you of ways that you can. You have a very hard time with that model. No way. No, no way. And we, have, and we have no intention to. So let me walk you through what, what Bright Wheels look like. So we started with a pilot in the fall of 2014. How many schools did you get signed yeah, up? Yeah, so we got 10 schools in the pilot. We, we, literally no product. And so we worked with them, we listened to them, we understood their needs in June of this year. We launched publicly as Brightville. We went from 10 and, and then now we have 2,500 schools or in every state across the country. Wow. So how are you going to monetize it? First, I just want to say that when you look at other industries, all of these industries have really great dedicated software that's provided by very large companies. This is a massive market that doesn't have that. And so that's where we see ourselves fitting in. All right. Cool. So that, that was seven years ago, that pitch. Um, and sort of looking at this, just a quick update here. I, it's great business. It's great business. Still in business. So they're they're doing. Yeah, quite, no, we. Uh, my kids, my kids' daycares used it. Oh yeah, I wish they would have for ours. We don't we don't have that. I get the same thing from my boy Hamilton. It's like ah, it's like pulling little stuff out of them. You yeah, know, no, it's can't. it's a great technology, great plat platform. You know, we used to right. use it all the time when the kids were in daycare. It was awesome. Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, he and uh, I got two two investors. Uh, back in 2016, uh, Chris and Mark did a, a co-deal for 600K for 6%. Um, in 2021, they were doing, they raised 55 million more and they've got a $600 million valuation. So they're just doing quite well um, right now. But of course, this is really early, you know, and this is uh, in terms of the you know education level, preschool, daycare type stuff. It seems like that's still where they're at. Number one, child care management software. Um, but I couldn't find any patents on the darn thing. You know, I was like, wow, I would love to be able to feature something. Um, you know, when it comes to software and graphical user interfaces, you're kind of limited with respect to what you can protect, but you can protect the way that something looks, you know, the platform itself. If you've got something unique with the way that it lays, it's laid out, they've elected not to proceed with any patents that I could file that are publicly available. Um, Matt, can you speak on the trademark side? Yeah, I just, 
looked up their trademark and um, let me see if they have a portfolio here, but um, the, the main trademark is for bright wheel. Obviously it's a word mark. Okay. We just have the one trademark registration. So it's bright wheel. It's a word mark, no logo design elements, anything like that. And they're in two different classes, uh, which makes a lot of sense. So they are on the downloadable mobile app technology side. So physical digital good. <laughs> and then they're on the, the um, SAS side, you know, um, software as a service. Right. So they kind of a uh, SAS pass platform as a service kind of technology. Um, so it makes a ton of sense. They're a mobile app company and they do technology, software technology. Right. So Chris, I want to get your thoughts on, on that pitch and any, any critiques or thoughts? Come yeah, no, up. I was going to ask, do so how have they revenue revenue or monetized it? Like, are they selling advertising? Or are the schools? Well, paying? so I, I, I'm on their site here. And so I, I felt like it, if I'm a, Parent, basically, you're going to pay now um, to so get parents. I believe so. Yeah. If oh, I'm, you're going to pay as a parent now. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I. Oh no, I take it back. I'm sorry. So if you're offering childcare, that's who's going to pay yeah. now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, unlimited room, staff, and support for one low monthly price. Um, so the you know the childcare facility would would pay, not the mm -hmm. parent. And um, they still don't sell advertising. Not from what I can tell. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, they've stayed away from that. So then that was interesting from our perspective because, you know, again, our, our goal was we wanted to provide parents with this easy access to, to all these different vendors. But one of the things that was missing for these vendors was to provide access as they wanted it to this group of parents. And we just felt like, you know, the profile should be pretty good. The website should be pretty good. You know, the blogs, community, um, forums and then being able to post news and events but we also still wanted them to, if they wanted to advertise and advertise with a link back to a registration document or something else we felt like they should be able to do that and we didn't want to do pop-ups that are so mm -hmm. annoying slow everything down so we just kind of figured well we're going to try that uh, again we always felt like it needed to be free for parents but we also felt like not only would it help us be able to keep our subscription costs down but it would there are people that they just want more and we wanted to be able to offer that in a, in a tasteful way. I get why they didn't want to do it. And yeah. we had, I had somebody that we, we had a, you know, a, a discussion about it and she was like, well, if you're going to charge subscriptions, why do you have advertising? That's just wrong. And I'm like, well, because our subscriptions are so low that part of the reason why is because of the advertising. Cause you know, yeah. at the end of the day, you do have to pay the bills. You know? Absolutely. 